I opened the Lemonade stand in New York City and was shocked by the results. She just gave a $20 tip. Oh my gosh. Myself, like most other eight-year-olds, this was my first ever business. And now, 20 years later, I'm coming back into business. So for today's video, we are going to be slinging lemonade on the streets of NYC to see just how much money we can make. The lemonade will be free, but we will be accepting tips to test the kindness of fellow New Yorkers. So New York City, don't let me down. So this weekend, it's 90 degrees here in the city, which makes it perfect weather for a lemonade stand. So right now, Abe and myself are trying to configure all the materials we need for tomorrow's objective of trying to see how much money we can make doing a lemonade stand in New York City. I'm really curious to see how much money we make. Me too. This is gonna be so interesting. Like I used to make 50 to $75 in a couple hours by the golf course by my old house. So now being in a place with so many people like New York, hopefully now being a bit smarter and having more insights on how to run a business, I can apply it to our lemonade stand. <sighs> All right, Abe, we need to make this the best lemonade stand New York City has ever, ever seen. Let's go. All right, so what do we need? We need a cooler. Yes. Gotta keep those beverage ice and cold. We need a table. Table. We need, we need like a nice tablecloth. Yes. Make it look legit. Yes, of course. Tablecloth. And also a banner that says free lemonade. Okay. Since guys, you're not allowed without the proper license to sell stuff on the streets here in New York City, especially food and beverage, but we still have to say that everything is free and then we can just accept tips. So that's kind of like the loophole that people do here in the city. First objective, buy every last lemonade on the island of Manhattan. Let's get this, Abe. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, baby. Best makeshift shopping cart, the skateboard. <laughs> so we spent all day yesterday, all this morning, getting ready to set up for our lemonade stand. So we got this wagon that's gonna be able to keep us mobile, have our sign that we're doing free lemonade. And also we are going to be serving the finest Capri Suns since it logistically would be very difficult and a bit unsanitary to do it the old fashioned way and mix it ourselves. And so. you can't go wrong with Capri Sun. And for our first location, we are going to keep it close right outside of the studio here on Broadway to this bus stop where there is a lot of foot traffic and with it being 90 degrees today, I feel like a lot of people in need of some ice cold lemonade. Okay, here we go. First day in business as a uh, lemonade dealer. Let's see how we do. We are on Broadway. There's a lot of people walking by. Excuse me, would you want some lemonade? Anyone? Free? Wow. Wow, thank you so much. That was not planned at all. I don't know how that happened. Our first customer just tipped $5. Whoa. Oh my God. I feel like we're gonna have a good, a good day. Ah, oh, that was awesome. That was cool. New Yorkers. Nicest people. So after the first 20 minutes, we have already made over $14 and some change. So we're gonna go back to the studio, try and regroup, maybe find a different location with more foot traffic, spice up our marketing a little bit more, and uh, see if we can improve on our lemonade stand. Back to the lemonade HQ.
All right, so after the first hour of being out there trying to sell lemonade, I feel like we need to do something to improve on our marketing. Do something that will get people to want to join our movement and community and want to support. So I think I have an idea that just about every New Yorker can relate to. What is that? Give me one second. Wow. I think this is gonna work, dude. Oh, it's just so relatable. I feel like every New Yorker, uh, you know, can definitely agree that this statement is correct. Yeah. So I think we're gonna rely on, you know, the kindness of New Yorkers to see if they wanna help support someone and see if they wanna help pay my rent. So for the second location, we headed to the Hudson River Pier. This is a hot spot for runners and people in need of an ice cold Capri Sun. Business definitely increased and the tips were flowing. These sweet girls Venmoed $20. Dude, those, that girl was so sweet. She just gave a $20 tip. Oh my gosh. This is insane. It's, it's just making me feel so <laughs> like wholehearted right now. Just to know that like New Yorkers are down to help support a cause like this. And also at the end of this video, we are going to do something special with this money. It's not actually gonna to go to my rent, but someone else's. Stay tuned. Back to selling this lemonade. Then we almost got busted, but luckily these security guards were super cool. After about an hour here, we then headed to our third and final location where our lemonade stand started booming like it was Dogecoin. Uh, thank you so much. You know what the best nation is? Donation. That is a good one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so the second location has been going pretty well, better than on Broadway, but this area, which I knew had a lot of foot traffic, it is unfortunately too fast of foot traffic with people just running right by. So we're gonna try our last spot of Washington Square Park. You guys want a free beverage? We have our first intern. Say hi to Cody. Just trying to get my rent paid. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Washington Square Park on a Sunday on a 90 degree day. Let's see what New Yorkers want to tip for their free ice cold beverage. Really curious to see what happens now. Thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. There we go. Well, so far, it's been three minutes. Got like eight customers. This is a gold mine right here. Oh, thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Rent probably is this ain't gonna help me. It helps every little bit, and you know what really helps? The support of you guys. You Believing it. in me. Yeah. Thank you. Right, I'm gonna take one of these because this looks amazing, and I'm gonna tip you. Uh, I'm just gonna for you. <laughs> wow. Thank yeah, you, man. Of course, no problem. It's prob money. <laughs> So my boy Brett Conti is going to come through for you with a free lemonade in a city that's nitty gritty. Getting on down as I flip your ass upside down like a rodeo clown. That was amazing. So nice to meet you, man. It's a pleasure. I feel like I should tip you. So after about another hour and a half of being here in Washington Square Park, I haven't counted the money yet in front of everyone, but I would have to say between the Venmos and people giving cash, we are definitely way over $100. People here have been so friendly and like so caring, just like wanting to know what we were doing, why we were doing it, and just making me really appreciate New Yorkers. Guys, I almost feel bad at how well we did yesterday. We were out there for probably a total of three hours and we made out like a bandit. This is just the cash. We also have Venmo on top of this. But first, we are gonna count in and see how much cash money we made. Hey, what do you think? How much? $100. $100? Dude, I think we got way more. I think we got way more. You don't even know what my Venmo's at. $700. 
So the total amount that we made in cash right here is $106 in tips. But we did, however, make more via Venmo tips. Abe, can I get a drum roll, please? Via Venmo, we made $121. Sheesh. Whoa. <laughs> New York City just rooting for our tips. <laughs> <laughs> so our grand total for our lemonade stand for three hours in New York City, the total is, Abe, hit him with another drum roll. So our grand total for three hours doing a lemonade stand in New York City, we made $227. Sheesh, that is incredible. So if you guys see me out there in Washington Square Park slinging lemonades, now you know why. No, but for real, I do appreciate all the New Yorkers who did want to help support someone, a, a fellow New Yorker who was, you know, maybe struggling and wanted to help cover their rent. So now I don't want to keep the money for myself. So we are back here now at Washington Square Park and we're gonna give the money to someone out here that's hustling. And in addition to that, I am going to double the amounts that New Yorkers were generous enough to contribute. So let's go find someone and help pay their rent. So we started talking to this girl, Fran. Fran makes these really cool handmade rugs out of her apartment and is hustling to try and make it her full-time job. Since during COVID, she unfortunately lost her job and now relies on selling her art to get by. At the beginning of the pandemic, actually the office I was working in closed and I haven't had work since and I decided like, might as well just try and use my time now that I'm not in school to make art and try and sell it and like do that full time. I decided that I was going to give it a shot. I came out here with like a blanket, put it on the floor, put some rugs on it and like made a sign. Well, so I'm a YouTuber and I recently did a video and I uh, wanted to see if New Yorkers would help a fellow New Yorker like myself, I set up a lemonade stand here yesterday and see all how much I could get in tips and like said how the money was going towards my rent. But I wanted to, you know, give that money to someone else who's out there hustling. Like I used to do Uber Eats and that's how I would, like survived for a year. So we have some money for you to help cover your rent. Wait, no way. Yeah. Wait, no. Yeah. Stop. So actually the apartment that I'm living in right now might be being sold soon. I might have to move and like this is really amazing. Yeah. No problem. Oh my god, yeah, for sure. Oh, I'm fascinated. It's okay. For you guys who do want to check out Fran's work, I'll leave a link to it down below. She has an Etsy. Also check out the Instagram and check out her awesome work and uh, support a fellow New Yorker. Doing this experiment was extremely eye-opening. It made me realize that you can do a hustle as simple as slinging Capri Suns in the park and make some decent money to get by. And also it wholeheartedly made me appreciate New Yorkers for wanting to help a fellow New Yorker pay their rent. So let this be a reminder that we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone.